What's going on, Ophucus? How are you guys? I hope you're well. Wherever you are, it is the 24th of October, 2024, and it is 12.08 a.m. And I will sleep all day today, so I'm not really tired yet, even though I know I need to still get some rest so I don't have the whole lethargic type of thing going on at work. So, whatever, however, thank you for stopping by here with me, old and new. Hope you guys like, hope you stay, hope you enjoy the reading. If you're new, I do Oracle Index, three decks of tarot. Okay, so here we go. Hope you guys had an awesome day. I'm going to use this deck. I haven't used this deck in so long. It's like mixed up with all the tarot over here. I forgot it was an Oracle deck. So... I said, oh, next video I do, I'm going to use this deck. So, here we have it. A sacred Destiny. Let's see what we get. At the bottom it says, a deck to discover the landscape of your soul. All right, let's see what we get. It's like I probably could have really taken them all, you know. I'll take those two. And then here we have action. Maybe you're a person that's always on the go and bikes. You know, the thrill of things that we have here. I've gotten this card multiple times. Happiness. First time I think I've ever gotten this card, though. Solitude. I'm not too sure. But maybe it's uh, happy in your own space. That's what I'm getting from it right away. So uh, we have here happiness. This says shimmering sunshine. Our sun is at the center of our solar system. Our planet, our planet and our lives revolve around its cycle of light and dark. Our inner and outer biological rhythms, as well as the rhythms of every animate and inert part of life, are ruled by the celestial force. In the far past, the sun has been thought of as a god. Traditionally, it has been associated with happiness, joy, hope, enlightenment, illumination, truth, cheer, warmth, and goodwill. Additionally, sunlight is an expansive force. When something is heating up by the light of the sun, it enlarges. Without the energy of the sun, things contract. The sun carries the deepest energy of expansion in life. So to receive this card is to know that you are expanding. It says the sacred landscape wants you to know. Click your heels and shout for joy. The signs are with you. Let your light shine. Abounding good luck awaits you. A gateway is opening for even more joy and happiness. Your life is expanding. Opportunities are emerging. Time. This is the time to go forward with glee. Love deeply and fully. Embrace life with open arms. 
goodness is flowing to you. The only thing to be aware of is to monitor your expansion in a metered way. Too much, too fast can be overwhelming. So you could just be a joyous person. You could um, enjoy being out in the sun and soaking up all of the goodness that it has to offer. Um, you could be experiencing um, things that are making your life better at this time. Uh, there could be a lot of different things that are going on, you know, with so many of you guys, you know, you all have different stories. So, yeah. And this card, Solitude, says here, Sacred, Sacred Island. Islands are bodies of land surrounded by water. They can be in an atoll or a river basin. However, the ocean surrounds most islands. They can be massive with their own unique verdant ecosystems, or they can be small and barren. The terrain can be flat or mountainous. They can be a detachment from the mainland through erosion or they can arise from the sea through volcanic activity. The thing that is universal in all islands is their isolation, and many cultures assign mystical symbols, I'm sorry, and many cultures assign mystical symbolic meaning to particular islands. They are thought to be the resting places of gods and thus are used for sacred purposes. So it says the landscape, the sacred landscape wants you to know. Spend some time alone in your life. This means to take your own counsel rather than relying on the opinions and dictates of others. Break away from the crowd be on your own. This card also speaks of self-resourcefulness, self-reliance, and tenacious individuality. If you are working on a project, trust your instincts and follow your own lead. Your creativity is at its peak. Let it flow. If you are in a relationship that is disempowering, this card suggests that it is time to step away. Take time to reassess your life. In solitude, you will thrive. This card also suggests safe haven, a sacred womb for incubation and self-transformation. Hmm. So it could be, like I said, a combination of these two things. You know, things are coming to you um, as you have maybe broke away into in your solitude space. More things are coming to your world. Your world is expanding. You're finding yourself to be happier, blah, 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 blah. Or it could be, you know, two separate type of things, you know, uh, where you just need to maybe refocus and go into solitude. And maybe for some of you. It's just you're just this happy-go-lucky person that is feeling just happy, you know. And um, let me just double check. I mean, I just read it, but yeah, opportunities may be coming your way. Just It says goodness is flowing to you, so you're just overjoyed, over zealous just feeling the happy you know so like i said it could be a combination i'm not too sure but let's see what we get here let's get a couple of cards out here
You're beautiful inside and out. Twin. They appreciate you so much. She said, I like it simple. Love me just a little. <laughs> okay. Continue and don't look back. Constantly move forward. Yes, the answer is yes. High expectations. Okay, last pile. Someone's name starts with the letter C. Clarence, Clarissa, Clark, Chance. Cassidy, Courtney, Candace. The time has come. Drive a truck. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a second. Well, oh, goodness. <laughs> teenagers. She like must have put a whole bunch of stuff in the washing machine, knocking up against my whole wall. Okay. 
and I was about to go stop it, I guess it kind of settled itself. So anyway, to tell her, don't put so much in the washing machine. <laughs> anyway, here we have it. Cold hearted. You're a doctor or a nurse. You got older and stopped doing something that you enjoyed. What was it? When you go into solitude, all those things come back to your memory. Digging in the crates. Old school. You could like music. It could be something that sparks your memory. Not too sure. Home. Something feels like home. Maybe you need to go visit home or someone. Uh, yeah. You know, parents, grandparents, I don't know. Time for a new scenery. Mm, never too busy. Never too busy for you, baby. That's Kenny Lattimore. Uh, chapter 1, verse 7. In the book of the Proverbs, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. A very spiritual individual. Can't move on. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. Someone has short hair or short locks. Two-faced individual. Not to be trusted. You have a Porsche. You really fit and and shape and just know that everything is possible please forgive me you're into cryptocurrencies someone needs rehab or therapy you have the power it's getting hot in here Miss Nelly the struggle is real <clears throat> getting from point A to point B. Release the pain. You could be a firefighter. Go on and let it out and cry if you need to. God loves you. You're into journaling. Someone's name starts with the letter P. Patrick, Patrice, Penelope. Someone's name starts with the letter H. Henry, Henrietta, Harris, Henderson. The best is yet to come. Unforgettable, that's what you are. Nat King Cole and Natalie Cole. <clears throat> it's just lust. Share your light. Someone's name starts with the letter W. Wesley. Williams, Wilmington, amazing connection, extreme potential, unfulfilled, negotiate. They are embarrassed by their previous actions. A challenge is only a challenge. But God made it happen that way. Continue. Thinking about generations well after you. You embody love from your soul. More research. Uh, there should be more research is needed. Let me do that real quick while I just have it here. If I can find a marker that matches that. Maybe it doesn't need to match it. Just... <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely going to fix that one. Make it match the color. More research is needed. <laughs> Someone is older than you. Metro train. And every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back. Trying to... Something. I forgot. Anyway, <laughs> that's chingy. Okay, um, so guys, thanks for being patient. 
Okay. And now let's grab. Definitely, I'm going to use the happy day here. <sighs> this damn chair keeps rubbing up against the desk. Okay. Um, the happy deck being in solitude, finding yourself again in a sense. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab this deck and then I think I want to use this deck. I'll use them in that order. I'll use a happy deck first and see what we get. Excuse me. You have here the first card, the Knight of Feathers, which is the Knight of Swords. And here it just says action. Focus, which was your card at the bottom there with the waves and things like that. You know, kind of like you are... ready to I don't know sorts talk about uh, communication intelligence learning you know things like that so it says here more research is needed you could be in a space where you are um, wanting to learn something let's learn something it says here journaling also um I'm not too sure here, but usually when I see the Knight of Swords, it's always like a, you want to say something, you know, but maybe you don't have enough information, you know, yet, um, you know, so you don't want to go and speak about something immaturely or something like that, even though it can be referenced as the, like, rushing in and just saying what you need to say, getting it off your chest like type. So the first card you have here is the High Priestess, and you have very spiritual out here also, okay? So you have a, it says sacred knowledge and intuition. So you have a level of intuition and things that you understand, okay? Second card, Four of Shells, which is the Four of Cups. So it could be something that, you know, is really not interesting you. Um, maybe a lot of different things aren't interesting you, which pushed you off into a space of solitude. Okay. And it says here, soul searching. Okay. Re-evaluation, which that solitude was talking about. Okay. And here it says, two-faced, not to be trusted, release the pain, okay, but share your light, okay. So then, well, then here it has the tower. So it seems like something may have fallen apart in your life, okay, but you're, you're intelligent enough and emotionally intelligent enough, and you listen to your intuition to where you just don't go and run off and say things even though that's maybe how you're feeling on the inside you know maybe you need it to go and like i said reevaluate some things get some more uh information about something uh before something totally falls apart okay it says here release um maybe the tower just means you know it says time for a new scenery falling right there you know go on and let it out and cry if you need to this could be some things that you're just really you're 
you're tapping in with yourself, trying to find your happy space again, or something like that. Hmm, interesting. Here with the Ten of Shells. Okay, it says blessings and well-being. It talks about a lot of love to a lot of relationships. It says that you were loved or you're, you're loved or something like that. You know, with the Seven of Crystals next, it says options and results. So, even though the tennis shows talks about love and blessings and family and all of that, you being, maybe that's what you're striving for, you know, being, like I said, being emotionally intelligent and understanding things, understanding that people are going to be just people, you know, and you're going to have to release and let go to get back to a place of happy or to receive things and that happiness and blessings to come in towards you. You know, the seven of crystal, you've given people multiple chances and you've tried multiple angles of different types of um, methods of things like that to see if things would work or change or something like that. It says they are embarrassed by their previous action, but the best is yet to come. Okay. Ten of Feathers fell in my lap, which is the Ten of Swords. But I'm not taking that card. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is better. Ten of Crystals, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, thinking about generations well after, after you. Stability, attainment. You know, um, and if this Ten of Shells is talking about a marriage, um, you know, Pardon me, and you've tried multiple ways, you know, to stabilize this relationship again, but just knowing that it's not you or something like that. Um, yeah, you're still going to have to maybe, I don't know, release this person, release, release the relationship, release the tears. I'm not too really sure. Not too really sure. <laughs> Anyway, so here you have the Knight of Crystals, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Here, this word says endurance, okay, um, or determination to a certain extent, yeah, because you're you're not rushing, you know, like that Knight of Swords, just wanting to just rush out and just say, you're kind of taking your time. That's the taking time, you know, um, methodically moving through things, processing things the right way, you know, just because you're unhappy about something, you know, does that mean that you just get up and walk away just because, you know, you're in pain, you know, why are you really in pain? What's going on? What's going on with this person? Or, you know, what's really going on here? For, well, Yes, that speaks for it. Sign three of feathers is the three of swords. It talks about pain. So releasing on top of release. So it's something definitely that is bothering you. Um, and maybe you really do need to just go to a place where you can be by yourself. Where you can focus. With the pages shows in reverse. Okay, so this card to me is saying that this is beyond some small level of relationship. Okay, so it could so very well be something like uh, a marriage. Okay. Here it says intuition and um, inspiration in reverse, you know. So let's just say like, you know, you you have no... The inspiration, like you're you're over it in a sense, you know, you're just ready to let go. So here's your Knight of Swords coming back out. You're ready to let go and just 
be with the full action and get it over with because you're focused and making something of of yourself for yourself for your family something like that to the two of crystals yeah definitely looking at life balancing it out here it says adaptability you know like hey if i need to go off and be single i'm gonna figure this out you know one way or the next and looking at your life where you've been where you're at and where you're trying to go you know I'm going to take this one next. Put that one there. It fell out last. I used that one. Yeah. Could have used this one. I flipped it back over, but whatever. Um, Knight of Wands. More action. More action. Just doing things the way that you feel is best for yourself. There's action and drive. What's driving you? What's driving you? What's your motivation? Queen of Feathers. Wow. You're ready to just say what's on your mind and speak it with your truth. With your truth, your sword, you know. Yeah, with the truth. That's the word there, too. Truth. Knight of Feathers to the Queen of Feathers. You're really just ready to speak your mind. Ready to say what's been bothering you or something like that. And maybe, you know, like I said, maybe this is a marriage. And of course, naturally, no one wants to get a divorce. You're trying to fix what's happened, you know. Um, but here it says unfulfilled. Maybe they are older than you, you know. And I, you know, I don't know. Just fell out of love somewhere. They fell out of love somewhere. Got old and stubborn. I don't know. And, but every time you try to leave, something keeps pulling you back, trying to be that, you know, in a happy state. Of, you know, you're married. Let's try to figure this thing out. So, mm. The Nine of Feathers talks about betrayal, you know, um, sleepless nights. So while in that space of feeling like there was no other way out, you still had to find your way out and self-empower yourself to be able to move forward. The first card you had is cold-hearted. Maybe they, like I said, fell out of love with you or something. Your happiness wasn't there anymore, and you knew that something wasn't right. Here's your ace of shells. All you wanted was the love, the, the happiness, the abundance of the ten of shells and the ten of pentacles. You're trying to, you know, get somewhere, move somewhere, do something. And I don't know what happened with this person. You know, but hey, hey, definitely, um, had to realize that. In order for you to be happy, you may really just need to take action and move along, you know. They're wanting forgiveness. It says, please forgive me. They're embarrassed by their previous actions. But you were, you were left in a space that was unfulfilled. Now, all of a sudden, they're trying to get right. 
I said somebody needs rehab or therapy. They can't. They can't move on. They can't really think about you leaving now or something like that. Thank you for being here with me today. I don't know if you can send me. Come back and rock with me anytime, guys. I appreciate you guys so very much. If you're still here with me right now, thank you guys. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please, and thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. Here's the second deck. Let's see what we got. The magician. So they're trying to work their magic on you out of nowhere now that you've had enough. Why is it always like that? I don't know. They want to play and play and play, and then when you've had enough, they're like, oh, well, you know, I really realize, you know, I have been such a jerk, and I'm sorry you. X, Y, and Z was going on. I didn't tell you or whatever. I don't know. I wish these cards wouldn't fall on the floor. Justice in reverse. Yeah, so things are definitely unbalanced here. So you have the Nine of Swords. I mean, yeah, the Nine of Swords, which is betrayal. So here is the Eight of Swords here. You know, where you just felt kind of like trapped. Like you tried everything. You didn't understand what was going on. You know, you trying to be this person that was going to save your marriage. You just, you were entrapped in a sense, you know. Not feeling like the empress that you are. You know, the one that's abundant in love and abundant in just everything, you know creativity and expression and this and that, you know, um, you, you didn't feel like, you know, as light as a feather, you know, full of love, you know, here's the knight of wands right here and here it is again. So, and that person has on a backpack, we're we'll about to take a hike. <laughs> About to take a hike. Like, look, I don't know what's going on here. But I can't sit around in this energy anymore. I'm I'm the Empress. I'm supposed to be your wife. And, you know, we're supposed to enjoy life together. And I don't feel like that right now. I feel like... Things have come to a close, an end. I feel like you left me out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. That's, I don't know. I'm tripping now. I said, okay, I got this card of the Ten of Acorns. That's the Ten of Wands. That's burden. Did I even talk about this card? I don't think I did. I think I went from the Queen of Feathers straight to the Nine of Swords. So here was a Ten of, here was a ten of Wands out here, a Ten of Acorns. Okay, it says responsibility and dedication. But it became a burden to you, you know. Wow. Yeah, I did skip over it because I didn't have that last card. Yeah, five of wands. It was a bunch of bickering and conflict and you guys were butting heads. You didn't see eye to eye anymore. Wow. At the bottom, ace of swords. So all you wanted was love. This person failed to give you that. Okay, so... 
Here we have it. Each time I open the deck, this one, I, when I opened it, I was on three of cups. And this one I'm opening, I'm on three of cups. I don't know if this person had another party around. Uh, you know, and you found out and you were questioning, trying to get more, re you know, find out more information. You know, trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. You know, are you cheating? Are you doing this? Why are you so distant? Why are you being cold hearted? Or what's going on? You know, yeah, so. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Last deck. Appreciate you guys. King of Cups. <laughs> so, the King of Cups is someone that is uh, emotionally intelligent also, you know. They are aware of their emotions. They may not express things, you know, like the Queen of Cups. But there is love there. Um, or it says the best is yet to come. Maybe you'll leave this and eventually one day someone will come along and make you happy and of course the dang oh, oh ten of <laughs> ten of wands this person's energy all they put you through is just a bunch of nonsense dang that knight of swords keeps coming out it's the third time well judgment it's just the it says right here god made it happen continue you're you're a beautiful person wherever you are and you don't deserve that you know you've done everything the right way you know try to be faithful and so on and so forth that's why you have this here knight of swords that wants to come out again like look i <laughs> you just want to rush this person and just say whatever's on your mind <laughs> you know Instead of trying again and being nice and tempered and all of that, you're kind of fed up. Two of Wands. Looking at your world now, you know, your options. What life would be like if you do move on and be by yourself. Or say you're this here Queen of Cups. You're very loving. You love a lot. That's why you haven't really maybe left yet. You know, you're constantly trying to figure out ways to save your marriage or something like that. But there's a nine of swords. This person betrayed you and just had you up all the time waiting on this person to come in from late hours at work. Or that's what they told you or hanging out with their friends or whatever. It's just something wasn't adding up anymore. And that's why you're ready to complete it. This is a cycle that something is telling you that there's really nothing here anymore. You're heartbroken. You're not feeling the love anymore. So that's unfortunate. But, you know, you know what you're feeling, you know, and um, divorces aren't beautiful. Not at all. They're not nice. You know, most of the time they end in. Uh, ugly, drawn out, you know, um, battles, you know, uh, especially with children involved, money, whatever, businesses, property, it can get really ugly, you know, and who wants to go through any of those things, you know, it, yeah. but when it comes down to your happiness, it comes down to things happening for you on the scale of good, you know, you have to release bad energy. You can't let this person continue to play you, you know, just because you're married. He's not doing and playing fairly, you know. So why should you sit around and take the abuse? So listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Hope you guys take care of yourself. Till next time. Bye-bye.